You are nature. Was that weird for you to hear? You see, in today's urbanized world, many people view nature as something separate from themselves. But the truth is that we don't just live in or with nature, we are nature. As organic beings made of the same molecules as everything else on our planet, we are intricately connected to the natural world. Despite this interconnectedness, there's often a resistance to recognizing ourselves as part of the ecosystem that sustains us. Even our dictionary definition of nature describes it as the natural physical world, including plants, animals, and landscapes, but fails to include humans in their descriptions. This often leads to a utilitarian view of nature where we measure its value solely by its ability to meet our needs and desires. Due to this warped view, natural ecosystems are frequently treated as commodities to be exploited for profit, resulting in much of the problems we see today such as environmental degradation, habitat destruction, and species extinction. The rise of technology and urbanization has further contributed to this disconnect, with many people spending the majority of their time indoors and detached from the rhythms and cycles of the natural world. In fact, most Americans spend about 90% of their time indoors. So it's no wonder we're so disconnected from nature. A study even found that the average American kid can identify a thousand corporate logos, but can't identify 10 plants and animals in their native area. I don't know about you, but to me, that's extremely sad. Essentially, we all need to touch grass more often not only so we can start living in harmony with nature and taking better care of our planet, but also for our own health and well-being. After all, numerous studies have shown associations between nature exposure and improved cognitive function, mental health, physical activity, and sleep. For instance, in Japan, forest bathing, where one immerses themselves in nature to connect through sensory engagement, is recognized as a therapeutic practice and is actually prescribed to patients. They started this practice in the 1980s and have decades of research to show how being in nature can improve our health. As an environmentalist, I have a deep appreciation for Mother Nature. But I gotta admit that even I'm not as connected to the natural world as I'd like to be. Sure, I take my dogs out for walks every day and go to the beach and park once in a while, but most of my time is definitely spent indoors. As someone who spent a majority of my time outdoors as a child, I can definitely say that my connection with nature is not what it used to be. So I want to change that with a few simple yet impactful practices. And I invite you to join me in reestablishing our connection with nature. There are numerous ways to connect with nature, but they all share one commonality, spending time outdoors. So I decided to start with something simple, putting my bare feet on the ground, a practice also known as earthing or grounding. When we touch the ground with our bare feet or body, electrons from the earth flow into us, balancing our body's electrical current. If you haven't heard of this practice before, I highly recommend you check out the Earthing Movie, which is a documentary you can find on YouTube for free. But basically, emerging evidence shows that contact with the earth may be a simple yet profound lifestyle addition that can help reduce inflammation, pain, and stress, while also improving blood flow, sleep, and vitality. Just make sure you look where you're going so you don't accidentally step on anything sharp or gross. I also found that watching a sunrise or sunset is another easy way to feel connected to nature. There's something inherently magical about witnessing the transition from dark to light or vice versa. By taking the time to watch a sunrise or sunset, we allow ourselves to slow down and be present. As the sun paints the sky with vibrant hues, we are reminded of the beauty and wonder of the natural world. No matter how many sunrises or sunsets I watch, I am always in awe of their beauty. Plus, exposure to natural sunlight helps us regulate our circadian rhythm, which leads to better sleep and overall health. <laughs> and I have my little buddy watching the sunrise with me today, and I think she loves it. 
Not to mention that this can be done from anywhere. So no matter where you live, you can take a few minutes to watch the sunrise or set. Growing something is another practice that can deepen our connection to nature. There's something incredibly fulfilling about watching a seedling grow into a thriving plant under your care. But I will admit to having killed a few plants in the past, especially succulents. So if you've never grown anything before, don't be discouraged if you're not really that good at it in the beginning because you will get the hang of it. Trust me. Whether it's a small herb garden on your windowsill or a backyard vegetable patch, tending to plants allows us to develop a deeper appreciation for the cycles of life. It teaches us patience, responsibility, and the importance of nurturing life. It also reminds us to be more appreciative of the foods we eat every day and the work that goes into growing it. I mean, look at this. How precious is that? Look at these little peppers. Understanding the flora and fauna that inhabits our local environment can also deepen our connection to nature in profound ways. So I've been taking the time to learn about the native plants, trees, and wildlife species in my area. I like to use apps such as Seek to identify plants and animals I encounter, and I have just started keeping a nature journal where I can record my observations and sketches. But if you don't like to draw, you can use photos instead. Not only does this foster a sense of curiosity and appreciation for the natural world, but it also allows me to be more creative and more observant of everything around me. This could also be a great way to get into foraging if that's something you're interested in. I've also been making more of an effort to just do my reading outside more often. I'm an avid reader, so reading is something I do almost daily and it's something that I can easily do outside. Feeling the wind in my hair and listening to the birds sing while I read is so relaxing. Overall, making a conscious effort to spend more time outdoors can help us foster a better relationship with nature. Whether it's going for a hike in the mountains, going camping with friends, taking a stroll in the park, or simply sitting under a tree and listening to the sounds of nature. Being in nature allows us to reconnect with the world around us. It provides us with a sense of perspective reminding us of our place within the larger ecosystem. So let's commit to spending at least a few minutes outside every day.